what it do what it do what it do hello guys welcome back to guru the guru and uh, on this channel we deal with the uh, kubernetes docker postgres and so it's mainly docker kubernetes and databases and uh, we have been around for a few months now and if you're liking the journey and uh, you want to keep motivating us give us that like button and subscribe oh i mean subscribe anyway <laughs> it is so today we're going to be dealing with the pivot tables on uh, postgres and you can be able to create pivot tables on business intelligence tools like uh, next intelligence from Dove cloud you can also use other tools like uh, power bi tableau so you can create a uh, pivot tables with that you can also use excel but now i want to show you a way you can do it using your postgres db if you're using postgres so for you to be able to use uh, the the what do we call it the pivoting you can either use the cross tab which is provided for by the table funk so the table funk offers uh, a few functions so you, there's a cross tab there's connect by there's a random by or random number that i'm not quite sure and then now you have what we'll use today we'll use a cross tab but there are two methods so i'd like to show only the first one cross tab so as i mentioned i have provided a description or a readme file in my github repo that you will be able to follow along and uh, copy and paste uh, everything that I have already done so even for myself in this tutorial i'm not going to be writing down everything i'm just going to be copy and pasting it from my repo to what i'm going to show today but i'm going to explain two bits so with that said for us to use the cross tab as we already said the cross tab comes from the cross func function so we have to enable we have to enable what you're calling the table function func extension so without enabling this this will not work so ensure you note that so with that uh, that said there are comments for cross tab and the first one is uh, usually you have to return three rows uh, three columns sorry so the three columns the first one is usually just the identifier the second one is the one that we want to pivot and that one is the values of the second one so it's as simple as that simplest explanation that can be given and then so as i said for us to use uh, the table func or the cross tab function you have to enable table func so you can see you have the command to enable table func from there so you ensure it doesn't exist enable temp table func so i can just uh, go to my uh, this is pg admin so i'll go to my servers and then databases and then i can just create a new schema i can call this uh, guru the guru yeah so comment uh, please like and subscribe please uh, like and subscribe <laughs> have you liked how i threw it in there so with that you will go to the sql editor so from the sql editor out first of all um, uh, like to do i need to i don't need to write it what are we calling it uh, table funk so and also i'd like to get the details to create the table from here uh, so i'll just copy this so we are using a table max so let's just copy that then there there you go and then i can also get the data yeah so those are the three steps so first of all i need to create extension if not exist table funk so let's just run that so you can see query returned uh, successful so that's okay so it it already exists because i had done it before 
so now you can see we are creating a table with uh, three uh, four columns id serial serial just means uh, just like in uh, mysql or you can have auto increment just use serial in postgres then we have a name which will be our identifier so those are the scores and then we have the exam the exam one two three four then we have uh, the score which will is what we'll use to give the exam the the values so that's just it let me just create that click there so create a book query return uh, successful 1.1 seconds so let me insert this into it so you can see we have done enjoy and they have one two three four exams so let's just create that so that is created so let's see whether that is uh, created from max max so let's run that so you should have uh, eight rows four for done and four for joy so let's write so now we'll go to, to the final step. I'm not going to write down the, the whole expression, but what you mean by using the, the pivoting is just we want to conf convert. You see, we have, let me just show that again. We have eight rows, but you can have one row for done and one row for joy. And then we have uh, this exam one, two, three, four converted into columns. That is just what pivoting means. Simple as that. So let's get the the function. So I just copy it. There's no need to write it, but I explain it to bits. So let's go ahead. So there you go. So all we're doing is uh, we are selecting all from the cross tab. So the cross tab is just the function from the, the table func. So not that. And this is the table that we're getting the data from. And just ensuring we order it it ignores the two and uses the, the first one so select the name exam and score so the first uh, this is the identifier this is what we want to pivot because there are four exams and then the score are the values so this is just an alias you can call this anything you want result final result whatever and then uh, you also have uh, to, to ensure that uh, the columns that you create you give them data types so you can see name we have variable character you can see uh, of length 15 you can see exam one two three four with integers so let's uh, just create that so let's just uh, create that so that should be successful so now we should only have two rows done and joy and you can see exam one 70 exam two and it's a data type below there so this is better and you can use this for your analysis and the good thing with the pivoting you can go as far as uh, let's bring this down here you can go as far as even creating cities with all this because uh, this table if you try to use this table final result it will not exist but you can use uh, things like the city is to create temporary tables if you've not checked out the cte video just click down below and you'll find it all up there somewhere so you, you just use the width function and then you can call it uh, with result as then opening and closing then you just uh, just uh, sorry just close it there and then we can select everything so indentation in uh, sql is just uh, aesthetics so it's nothing more so select you can just select all from it so we should get the same result so from result so that is a common table expression so these are uh, create a temporary table result from our cross tab so let's run that and see well, so you should get the same result so you see done and enjoy so guys uh, that is all we wanted to show on the pivoting with the postgres and i hope you enjoyed it and as you said guys push us up road to 10 subscribers we are at four currently have a good week guys bye bye